Hi everyone, this is Belinda for burnbright.com.au. Today we're going to do perhaps an inexpensive gift for someone or just something to brighten up your home. We are going to need a photo frame, some printed out pictures, some Easter egg papers, mineral turpentine, black enamel paint, paint brushes, and some cotton balls. To start out, we need to take our frame off our glass, put that aside, and then we want to clean our glass with the turpentine just to make sure that the glass is extraordinarily clean and there's no oil on it. Once you've done that, lay the glass over the picture that you're going to be painting around, and then we get our black enamel paint, we open it up. We stir it and then we start painting around our picture. So I've drawn around my glass with a sharpie and that's just to make sure that if I lose my place on the page I am able to go back and find it again. And now I have some black enamel paint on my brush. Don't load it up too heavily. And then we want to go around and trace the picture that we have laying under our glass. We want to make sure that our lines uh, as solid and as steady as we can make them. So keep going with that until you've made it all the way around the picture. Don't forget to add in the lines that are inside the picture because all this and the more work and the more accurate you are here the better the outcome is going to be later. Now a tip because you're using enamel paint and it is quite stinky Please be sure you do this in a well ventilated room. But I've gone around my rose and as you can see it's a little bit meh. There are sections in here that I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to uh, fix a little. So to do precision fixing we grab a toothpick and we roll it in our cotton ball. Roll it around a few times and that should give you a nice point. And then you dip this into the turps and going around and making sure that all your lines on the inside of the picture, so these lines here and all that, are as neat as you possibly can make them. In my case it is, um, I think it's in here. Now this could take a while so I'll be back once I've done that. I've done a little bit of mending on my picture and now what we want to do is we want to go around our picture in black basically and basically anything that is not picture turns into black. As you can see I've now gone around my rows and see that you can still see through the glass down here and then a few other places and we don't want that at all so I might need to go through and do a couple of coats for getting this completely beautiful and yeah there's actually quite a few places here where I need to go over it again but basically what you want to do is you want to take this black all the way to the very outside of the glass so as you can see I'm just about to finish my first coat of the black. Now it's not absolutely perfect, it doesn't have to be, handmade gifts are not meant to be absolutely perfect. I mean the more you practice at this the better you're going to get at it. We need to wait for this coat to dry and then we'll go around it again with another lot of black paint. It's been a little while and our paint is mostly dry. As you can see there are bits where you can quite badly see through the black. So we need to go and do a second coat. And we do this exactly the same way as we did the other coat. And here we are and I am finishing off my second coat. And I think that should be about it. So now it's time to let this all dry again. 
as you can see I've now put the foil on the back uh, I have cut it down to size and stuck it on my sticky tape and once you've done that you then put it back into its frame put the back on it and we have our finished product so this is quite an inexpensive way of making gifts or decorating your home I hope you really enjoy it and this is Belinda for burnbright.com.au See you everyone, bye!